What we're going to be going over here is accounting changes for depreciation. And we're going to be looking at two examples here. Where first, we're going to be looking at this example where we're going to have a change in our depreciation method that we use here. And then our second example, we're going to look at a change in our depreciation service life. Okay, so starting out with our change in depreciation method here. And this is the case here where we're going to have purchased this piece of equipment. It has a service life of five years salvage value of $30,000, and it has a cost here of $930,000. Okay, so first off, what we're going to be looking at here, we're going to start out with our sum of years of digits depreciation, and we're going to use that for the first three years here. And then we're going to, after the third year here, we're going to switch over the straight line depreciation method for years four and five. Okay, so what we have to start with here is we have to take our book value minus our salvage value. That's going to equal our depreciable cost here. So book value, we start out with its uh, price that we paid for the cost here of this equipment of $930,000. Then we have to subtract out its salvage value here of $30,000. So a depreciable cost is going to be $900,000. Okay, so starting with our sum of years digits for our depreciation calculations, and we're going to use that for the first three years here, the sum of years digits method. And just to review what that is here, uh, sum of years digits, that's where you take your service life here. And for, the, for year X1, our service life is five years here. And you divide it by the sum of years here. So we got five years of service life here. So let's just say for our, deno our denominator here, that would be the 15 here equals 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. That means 15 years here for the sum of years uh, digits here. So we're taking our fractional amount here for the first year. That's that five years service life divided by the sum of years here times the depreciable cost here of $900,000. That's going to give us $300,000 here for depreciation for year X1. Year X2, we move down. We got four years here left. So we take four uh, fifth of, of four, the fraction four fifteenths here times $900,000. That's going to be $240,000 in year X3 here. We're on to our third year here. So it's three divided by the sum of years digits here, 15. That fractional amount times 900,000 gives us 180,000. So our total depreciation that we have to date here, summing ever for the first three years here is $720,000. Okay. Now, at the end of the third year here, or for the fourth year here, we switch over to the straight line depreciation. And that's going to be for the final two years here, years four and five. So what we have to do is we have to take our cost of the equipment again here. Now, we take the total cost of the equipment, $930,000 here. And then we would have to subtract out the depreciation we have to date here. That was that 720000 that we depreciated to date. And the difference here is going to give us our book value or our carrying value of this piece of equipment here at the end of year X3 of $210,000. So here we got two years remaining. So again, we go back to our uh, to determine our depreciable cost, we take our book value minus our salvage value. That's going to be equal our depreciable cost. So our book value here, what was that? Two hundred and ten thousand here. Salvage value is thirty thousand. So the difference here gives us one hundred and eighty thousand uh, remaining to be depreciated over those two years. So just straight line here, uh, you get. Two years here, uh, depreci depreciation remaining here, 180,000. So that's going to give us 90,000 here per year here. For year X4, uh, 90,000. Year X5, 90,000. Simply, whatever we, our depreciable cost here uh, that we have remaining here on this piece of equipment divided by, in this case, straight line. We have two years remaining, so divided up evenly over those two years. OK, and then for our journal entries here, again, Equipment here, the five-year life and the balance sheet, we would have had that debited here or increased our equipment account here by 930000 That is the cost of the equipment. And then our accumulated depreciation. Uh, again, a contra account to this uh, equipment here, that's, reduce, that's reducing our equipment value here, this contra account. So uh, again, on our balance sheet here. And uh, uh, what we would have had here just for our first three years here, the sum of years digits, all I'm doing is taking whatever we had calculated here for depreciable amounts for those three years here. You credit 
the uh, accumulated depreciation account that reduces your equipment uh, cost here and then the expense or the credit the debit here goes to depreciation expense here for the equipment on the income statement okay so we've got the sum of years digits here for the first three years then we switched over to the straight line method here for year x4 and year x5 showing that here credit here for accumulated depreciation and then the debit would go to depreciation expense so all we really did in this example that we just changed our depreciation method we started out with some of years digits and then we tra uh, transferred it over to the straight line depreciation in both cases we had to determine what the book value was at the beginning of the period here uh, less our salvage value that gave us our depreciable cost and then based on our depreciation method we're able to allocate the uh, cost or to depreciate or determine what our accumulated depreciation was on that piece of equipment and just looking here accumulated depreciation I'm showing at 900,000 here over the life over that five-year life of the equipment and then our equipment cost here I'm showing that at 930,000 so you can see here the credit here reduces uh, of 900,000 reduces our equipment debit amount here 930,000 so really we got 30,000 uh, worth of service uh, uh, remaining value here or salvage value on that piece of equipment okay so let's go over and let's look at our second example here okay very basic here here is our accounting change for depreciation service life here and that's our second example just say for example we have a building here it has a service life of 30 years a salvage value we're just going to say is zero here and it has a cost of one million five hundred sixty thousand dollars and in this case we're going to change uh, after our third year here we're going to change our service life from 30 years up to 40 years so okay so let's go look at and we're going to be just using straight line depreciation here so all we're really going to be looking at in this example is where we change the service life the s we've estimated here at 30 years but it's going to change to 40 years so starting out to determine our depreciable cost just take our book value minus our salvage value again no salvage value so depreciable cost is that one million five hundred sixty thousand dollars that was our cost so for the first three years straight line depreciation well we estimated a 30-year life on this building here divide that into the one million five hundred sixty thousand dollar cost that's going to give us fifty two thousand dollars per year depreciation for the first three years here so our depreciation to date here before we make this change in our service life three years times a fifty two thousand is going to give us depreciation to date of hundred and fifty six thousand dollars okay so now we come in and we change our service life here from 30 years to 40 years here on this building revise our estimate here so again we take our cost of the building that was that one million five hundred sixty thousand and then we would subtract out our depreciation to date that was one hundred fifty six thousand that's going to give us our book value or our carrying value here at the end of year x3 we depreciated it for the first three years here so our book value now is one million four hundred and four thousand dollars okay so again now this is where we have to determine uh, the depreciation for the remaining years remember we started out with 30 years here now we switched it over to 40 years service life on this building but we already depreciated three years here of it so we would subtract the three years here from the new estimated service life of 40 years and that gives us 37 years here so that's the key here when you make your change here in the uh, when you're looking at depreciation and you make your change here in the service life so again here's what we do we take our uh, book value that we'd have here at the end of the third year after that three years of depreciation here at 30 year at a 30 year life that one million four hundred and four thousand divided by the remaining years that we have to depreciate it here 37 years so that's going to give us a depreciation per year here of thirty-seven thousand nine hundred forty-six dollars so just go down and looking at our journal entries again here set it up here your depreciate uh, your building it's uh, cost here one million five hundred sixty thousand dollars and then you have your accumulated depreciation that's the contract count here that's reducing your building cost here uh, by the amount of your depreciation that you're taking so the first three years here we had credit or we increase their accumulated depreciation by fifty two thousand 
for each of those years here based on that 30-year service life. Then we switched over to the 40-year service life, but we already depreciated these first three years here. So we only have 40 minus three years gives us 37 years remaining, and it just happened to be here that for these remaining 37 years, we remember we calculated that to be $37,946 per year. So credit or increase your accumulated depreciation by that amount for each of the next 37 years. I just have shown the first year here that we, after making that change here uh, uh, in our service life. Okay, so there we go. So your credits here to accumulated depreciation, the debits go to depreciation expense here on the income statement for this building here. So debit for the first three years here, 52,000 per year here. That's for the 30-year uh, service life. And then the, after that for year X4 and beyond here, you'd be deb debiting it here for $37,946 per year. Okay, so we've gone over our two examples here where we made an accounting change for a depreciation method. And I just went over the case here where we switched from the sum of years ditch to the straight line. And then we um, also went over the example here where we had a change in our depreciation here in the service life where we uh, extended the service life. We were depreciating it here at a certain number of years. We originally estimated it was 30 years here and then we uh, at the end of the third year we decided that wait our service life has actually changed to 40 years here on a building that we purchased. So we had to make our change here in our depreciation amounts. Okay so that'll go over uh, that'll sum up our two examples that we looked here on depreciation changes, accounting changes.